love, the most beautiful thing in the world that you and I look for is love. I mean, you've heard the joke, haven't you? What do you get when you get a country music song playing backwards? Well, you get your pickup truck back, you get your house back, you get this back, you get that back. All of country music is on love and it's on romance. My wife and I have been married for 47 years. Yeah. I know I don't look it, I just look 25 or something like that. But you know what? I'll never forget the day I met her. She was 16 and I was 20. I just come from India, she was from Canada. And when I looked at her, I wasn't listening much to the sermon that day. I was looking at her across, I thought, that's the one I want to meet. And strangely enough, she thought the same thing. And now after 47 years, in fact, coming up in two, three months will be 48, as Margie and I have been wed. I want to tell you two things about love. It's hard work. It's hard work. You see, when you put the ring on that finger, it is a tourniquet to stop your circulation. When you say yes to her, you're really saying no to everyone else. Do you realize it's the greatest compliment you pay a human being when you take them at their word when they say, I do? Do you realize that? Young people, let me tell you something. G.K. Chesterton put it this way. Free love is a black and white contradiction in two words. Love was never intended to be free. It is the nature of love to bind itself. It is the nature of love to bind itself. And the consummate expression is the most sacred expression of all physically, which actually represents the spiritual consummation of two people saying, I do. C.S. Lewis says there are four kinds of love. Agape love, the love of God. Storge love, parental love, which is protection. Phileo, which is brotherly love or friendship love. Eros, which is romantic love. Agape, storge, phileo, eros. And the other three have no point of reference without the first. They have no point of reference without the first. You cannot really define love until you understand the one who has created you and me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You cannot love without giving. And God gave to us the most precious gift of all in his son. Love cannot be defined apart from God. And if our culture is messed up, it's messed up right here. We have no longer a definition or a point of reference for love. You love your car, you love your house, you love your dog, you love blue, you love uh, Italian food, you love Indian food, you love your wife. Same word. Not so for the Greeks. They had agape, storge, phileo, eros, and the last three hung on the peg of the first. And if you are living with a broken heart today because of a broken love, you probably had that love broken because somebody didn't hang love on the peg of the eternal love of God himself.